Jay-Z and Yogoti are suing head of Mississippi prison over inhumane condition. Clarion Ledger reports that the lawsuit was filed on Tuesday on behalf of 29 inmates. The lawsuit um, states that individuals held in Mississippi's prison are dying because Mississippi has failed to fund its prisons, resulting in prisons where violence reigns because prisons are understaffed. In the past two weeks alone, five men incarcerated in Mississippi have died as the result of prison violence. These deaths are a direct result of Mississippi's utter disregard for the people it has incarcerated and their constitutional rights, end of quote. In addition, according to the complaint, um, black mold, rats and mice infestations, flooding and units um, with no running water or electricity for days at a time are among the deplorable conditions inmates are subjected to. The lawsuit requests a judge to order the defendants to enact policies that will protect inmates from violence, provide an adequate amount of properly trained staff, as well as provide safe and clean conditions along with other basic human needs. All right, so um, I want to make reference to the, um, what's it called now, the eight amendments which they made reference mm -hmm. to and it says that this prohibits cruel and unusual punishment it applies to those who are convicted of a crime but not the um pretrial pre detainees convicted prisoners therefore have a constitutional right to medical care the united states supreme court set the deliberate indifference to serious medical need as a standard that constitutes unnecessary and want an infliction of pain prescribed by the Eighth Amendment. So basically, it's saying that they are entitled to medical care, good living conditions, and all of that. So if none of this is being given to a detainee, I mm -hmm. mean to a convicted felon mm -hmm. or somebody in prison, then you're, you're breaching a constitutional right which is entitled to them. So, and they're saying that this Philadelphia jail system is known for this violent crime. Mississippi. I'm sorry, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I said Philadelphia, yeah, mm -hmm. because that's where I want to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Philadelphia jail? I don't understand. I, I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said ha. Okay, sorry. Go <laughs> Continue, continue. Do I even look like someone that was surviving, Joe? You actually you do, fam. I look like someone <laughs> that was surviving, Joe. Okay, yeah, I'm G'd up like that. Wow. I said, I'm a man. You go and come yes, back motivated. Go, uh, <laughs> and uh, any load of what did you say? Atila today. Atila today. Mm -hmm. And what did you say? I all right, so basically, um, Mississippi is saying that, look, there are a lot of people that have died um, from violent crimes in there because they have their understaff. Mm -hmm. They really do not have um, professionals. There's mm -hmm. no adequate training for even their security personnel and yeah, all of that. and these people were there to be corrected, not to be killed. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. if it's a rehabilitation place, I think these people, I know, yes, they're criminals. They have made a mistake, mm -hmm. and they're in jail for them to be rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you should not treat them like they're not human. Mm -hmm. Even though some of them committed crimes that are inhumane, mm -hmm. you get me. So, but at the end of the day, I think um, I like what Jay Z is standing up for, and you got it. So it still it's boils down to the role. reformation of the um, prison system, prison system mm -hmm. which someone like um, what's her name, Kim Kardashian, is also mm -hmm. on, and a lot of other celebrities. Um, what's his name now? Why Philadelphia? Uh, why Philly came to mind is because Meek Mill is also yeah. doing the same thing for the Philadelphia Joe system which he was incarcerated in as well so i think um this is very commendable very. and i'm really really proud of this because the fact that they're criminals doesn't change the fact that they're humans and mm -hmm. we are talking about um what's it called um human rights violation mm -hmm. this is still human rights violation and according to the eighth amendment it's a violation of their rights all right I mean, this is just a very right move and very thoughtful because these people, most, some of them are still going to come out back to the society. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've treated them like animals, do you expect to them to do you expect like, them to like come humans. back and to come back mm -hmm. and act like humans no they'll probably go and do worse things than what they did and then again. get back to jail again that's why if you notice the circle is always like that mm -hmm. they come out of jail commit another crime and go back again because there's no kind of um training on there's no information or there's nothing given to them in there they're just there suffering there's no bed to sleep sleeping on the floor you know eating bad food and flawed, flawed. it's just terrible and i don't think any human being you know should go through or even though they are criminals 
customers. Mm -hmm. You just, they are, like you rightly said, they are there to reform them. Mm -hmm. Teach them what they don't know now. So when they get back out, they would be better. And let's not forget that there are some people that are innocent and they are in jail. Yeah. Imagine they are going through all that. Mm -hmm. How do you, I mean, how do you expect them to feel and cope? That would probably even turn them to criminals. Criminals, they're, they're you know. Because a lot of people get initiated into court in jail. Yeah, surely so when you have to fight to survive. To survive, and get the, you know. Little basic amenities. I mean, if you are in a certain environment that is at least clean, giving you the basic mm -hmm. amenities, you could find time to now sit down mm. and, and reflect. think, reflect. And some people go to jail and get their degree in mm. jail yeah, right. because the environment was it's conducive conducing. enough to give them these opportunities and give them time and space to read and all that and be better um, people for it. So I'm I, sorry. I, I mean, I would, I, would, I would like to relate that to Nigeria right now. Mm -hmm. I'm, <laughs> I'm so, I mean, I'm so impressed because there are a lot of groups that are standing up for this kind of thing to mm. for proper um, reformation in prison and we had a guest on the news was it last week um, and he came to talk about how about three people in prison now um, they are now it doctors just on it was yeah, yeah it was yeah. a Monday and then he spoke about so many prisoners that now have their um, certificates some are even doctors I and mean, that's so impressive mm -hmm. and aside that um, still talking about Nigeria we always have to drag Nigeria into all of this but mm -hmm. it's because we need a change right so Nigeria look at the living condition in most of our prison systems um, mm -hmm. it's overcrowded mm -hmm. you have like 40 people in one jail cell that is just for like three people that is supposed to be for like three or four people mm. you have 40 people being squeezed in one jail mm. They, People that have not even been sentenced yet to. You know, that they, 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 apart from being sentenced, they haven't even gone to trial. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. So you can talk about getting sentenced. Sentence, right. They haven't even gone to trial. And then you pack all of them like starting in one small room. Mm. And then you expect these people to come out better. Mm. It's not possible because... So I think um, we should also look into the reformation of the Nigerian prison system. That's one of yeah. That's of why those I said people, people are already that working already on it. having yeah. certificates and all of that. That's like a ratio of zero points. Right. Do you understand? But at we the end of the day, we can still do better. Right. Do a whole lot better.